All right, smoke them if you got them. Ladies and gentlemen, I didn't plan to do a second one taker weather video tonight. I've spent almost all day working on this rogue planet brown dwarf with an aurora video because brown dwarfs drive me crazy and I love them and they bring out the romance in me and the silliness. I don't know why. It's really weird. But then when I took a break from working on this video, I saw that the weather situation is very, very, very weird. And so I'm going to have to warn you before you watch the weather video, before you hit the button, that what you're about to see might be a little scary, though the odds are it is just a glitch or an anomaly or something else. But I have found something. That's pretty crazy. I haven't seen before. Alright, are you ready? Anyway, this video is going to be great, but I spent way too long on it. Because I love making brown dwarf videos for some strange reason. <clears throat> so, here we go. If, if I'll give you ten more seconds to get out. And I named the new brown dwarf Taysel MCAT Ross Sar Emmy. Okay, great, because it's easy to say and it slides right off the tongue. Here we go. Alright, we're going to get your double zap from the Antarctica. Triple zap, and then waves. And this is just the starter, and then the third one, or is that fourth? I can't even tell. And then you got the giant swirly Q here that gets zapped, and then you got your cross waves. But this is precipitable water. Look at how much water is participating over in the West Pacific. That is a ton. Japan's about to get hit with Shan Chan. <clears throat> they got another few somethings here, there, and there. And then we got Hector barreling. They still say he's going under Hawaii, though I think he's stronger than they think he's going to be. And then you got John over here, who just ate Eileen. And then you got Christy over here. And then over here, you got Debbie, just kind of hanging out in the Atlantic. No threat to anybody. But as you can see, for Anomaly 1, this is weird. I'm going to give you like four seconds to look at it yourself. See if you can find your own anomalies and play along at home. Yeah, it's a situation. The weather's weird. Even the king of weather Twitter, cranky weather guy, says we got jet weirding going on. Uh, all the meteorologists have noted that we're getting summer and winter patterns with the jet stream here in the summer. So now here we go to the, for you ready. Are you ready for it? This thing. All right, here we go. This is the rain. This is all rainfall over everything. Now watch how, see what it does there? What is that? Maybe it's a little glitch for the future models. But notice everything kind of pulses up at around 2.24 a.m. That's probably just a glitch. But it's a very fascinating glitch, wouldn't you say? I would, and I am, but don't worry, that, that is not the basis of this whole video. Oh no, there's so much going on, but if this did happen, it's weird to see that this moisture stream is connected back to this giant moisture pile, and this whole complex, look how giant, talk about rain bands, stretches from like India all the way up to Alaska, and if you stretch that out, it might go like 7.75 7 times around the world, so... We got a situation going on right here, people. All right. So just look here. There's Debbie. There's John. There's Christy. There's Hector. And there's two swirly pies. And then there's Shan Chan. And then those look like they should be something. Let's take a look at the mean sea level pressure. It's weird how there's just that one. I guess there's two now. The high pressure zones. But it was about when the ocean started looking like this last year is when I started a little earlier saying, hey, I think when this pattern switches, we're going to get hit. So I know that the wind shear is high still. And the dust coming off Africa is high. Look at the gravity waves. And we got the giant Azores high, which would, well, I guess that would kick it straight up. but And the MJO might not be optimal, but crazy 
another thing, John over here, right? These waters by San Diego are hot, like 10 degrees hotter than normal. And the models have John, who just ate Eileen, kind of just churning and burning and then stopping by about Saturday. And I think we need, just because it's 2018 and that's what we do, we pre be prepared and we stay aware. And I'm going to be watching the models that come out in about two hours to see if there's any change. Because it just seems like, I don't know, man, like, I, I hate to see it take a left up into Baja, Mexico, and then have all the moisture go straight up. This is a situation. Watch. I shall show you. Look at all this. This is water vapor. Look at all that water that's happening. Where did you go? Stop fighting with me, please. Thank you. Look at all this water. This is water vapor. Look at all the moisture here. So you got a ton of moisture that'll be added up through here. And if this thing spins and goes up, it could add a whole lot of moisture. And look how it's just pumping the moisture straight up. Hector's still strong, in my mind, in my opinion. And these storms have been pretty nasty from right here. And yesterday, softball in Colorado was softball size hail, man. It wasn't even baseball size hail. It was softball size. Look at all that moisture that is pouring down. And that storm that is going to hit Alaska. Where is it? That thing up there, it's going to hit Alaska. That thing has people on flood alert up there right now. You guys are on flood alert. See? Look at that. That chain of moisture. These rain bands. Total cloud water. That's a lot of water all encompassing totally in the clouds and it's chained to Shan Shan and so that moisture will be, be being pulled back down through and if that connects up with this moisture <clears throat> and then any moisture from the tropics is going to have a major storm which the models have not picked up on and all the meteorologists have noted the models have not been that accurate lately because the Fujiwara effect is not something they usually deal with. It's a very rare occurrence to have hurricanes eat each other. Um, so, and this is total parsippital water in this angle. And so we got a ton of water here. And the more east and north it gets, the more it'll drag it up through there. So you got one moisture stream here. We pull out the arrows. Everybody loves the arrows, right? Right, so you got one giant moisture stream here, and then you got this storm coming from, down from Alaska that'll be adding moisture, and then any moisture that comes across, because even you have wind shear and dust, that ain't going to stop the moisture. Dust ain't going to turn water into non-water, you know what I'm saying? So I think we got a big storm on our hands here in maybe a couple of days that the maps aren't showing. And either way, I'm pretty sure after the eclipse on the 11th, we're going to be in for some wild weather to all of us along the coast. And Asia, I'm sorry that all I have for you guys is thoughts and prayers to our soldiers stationed in Japan. They're saying it's not going to hit, but I don't know, it looks to me like it's going to hit. So just stay prepared. It looks bad anyway with rain and stuff. But yeah, that is a lot of just Asia's getting pounded. So it's a wild situation, dude. All right, what else we got? So yeah, there's John right there. They say he's just going to churn and peter out, but he, I would guess he's going to churn a whole lot of moisture up into the coast. And at some point, he's supposed to eat Christy, I think. She's supposed to take a left. That's why I think we're going to have to keep our eye on John. And as weird as the is, we're going to watch Hector. Because, like, on here wait wait okay so on here a it looks like he's gone north a little we'll have to watch the ne next run models in two hours and he looks bigger than they thought he'd be maybe cat four cat three I think they have him predicted like cat two cat three when he passes if he was like a cat four when he passed then they might get y'all might in Hawaii, might get some pretty rough wind. But I would be prepared for any weirdness at all. 
I don't think it's going to hit you direct hit, but that's how I'd be preparing if I was in Hawaii. And then, like I said, this thing right here is just a beast. And watch it line up the water vapor up along the coast. And we're watching this area here for possible volcanic activity in the future. And here's, you got all the wildfires. You have the number one fire that just is now happening, the Menacita fire. Um, and there are fires all over the United States. I mean, all over the West. And then there's the flood watches because they've been getting so much rain lately. And that's why. So they're surfing rough water and wakes. It's bad. There's the flood watch from the storms we're watching in Anchorage, Alaska. Yeah, it got all super weathery. Well, I'm, I was sleeping maybe it was for like a few days after the fundraiser. Because I made 60 videos last month, which is a Thor News record, by the way. Thank you guys for supporting all my hard work in these very challenging, very strange times. But if you want to, even though we're already at like 12 minutes, 10 minutes. Okay, so we're Tuesday. We're watching the European. Sometimes when I run my recorder, I won't necessarily go that fast. But this has Hector. Those are the hitting it with, I don't know, like 40, 50 mile per hour winds. The waves would be interesting. But notice how the European has John kind of go. He heads up and then slowly drifts out. And then he just kind of dies off. But if you'll notice, like the temperatures, it's like 87 degrees, 73. There were some saying some areas it's getting up to 80 degrees, and 80 degrees is all you need for a hurricane. So, I definitely keep our eye on this situation. See, like, look, this is 9 p.m. See, like, 79 degrees right off of, that's almost 80 degrees. There you go. How is that? So, yeah, 80 degrees. And that's on Friday. Now let's kick it over to wind gusts. So get a better picture of our. This is the GFS we're looking at. And the GFS also has. So that's 77. Right now it's got. 65. Okay. So this also has Hector going just south. Like I said, I would guess it's going to be stronger than they think. Then watch John as it passes under Hawaii. Now, have I mentioned the models haven't been that great? This kind of rakes up the coast. <clears throat> and on this, it has Eileen, or whatever her name is, Christy, following him. My buddy's wife is named Christy. She's awesome. So, it's got it hovering around a cat one. But like I said, that's Friday. That's the day where there's 80 degrees up there. And so, it, in here, it takes a left into colder water, which doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. <clears throat> Maybe it's jet stream or wind or something. But see how they're combining? So the models aren't too great with Fujiwara. And then you got some weird wind effect going here anyways. Santa Ana winds, whatever the hell you want to call them. So you got 45 mile per hour winds up there without any type of... Who's the mother... Whatchamacallit? Yeah, I think it's a double Fujiwara hurricane. I don't think that's ever happened. So it ate Eileen, and then the GFS has it eating Christy. Somewhere near the 80 degree Los Angeles coastal waters. So yeah, I ain't blowing smoke up anybody's ass. And like I said, I don't make money off views. I make money off tips as your planet's here defense commander and donations, contributions. So I wouldn't be saying this. I wouldn't be saying, hey, watch out. We're going to keep our eye on this dang thing. Because it's a double Fujiwara thing. It ate two hurricanes. And we got super anomalies where this water is much hotter. Look at that. It's almost a straight line, man. 
Look at 81. 79. 76. That's 8 p.m. So, I mean, yep. This is, we got ourselves a, a situation. For sure. Yeah, all he needs 80 to get a hurricane, man. So, you know, the temperature anomaly, it's there. They have one lifeguard called it the hottest he's ever seen it. Although I don't know how old that lifeguard was. But, California lifeguards take their jobs very seriously. They once made a show quote about it called Baywatch. About a bunch of rough and tumble people who could have been doctors, lawyers, politicians, secret agents. But no, they chose to be adults who are excellent at keeping people and the animals safe together in harmony towards the ocean. <sighs> okay, was that funny? If it wasn't, then I totally failed. And then here we have this atmospheric river. I keep talking about that. Mother Nature keeps trying to combine from Mexico all the way up. And she continues to keep doing it. And there's Debbie churning. Although everything's coming east, she's trying to go west. We all think it's going to beat it. And that one we're pretty sure about. Like I said, it's two weeks from now. And we're like, it could be holy shit land where you wake up and you got three hurricanes in the Atlantic. And you're like, how'd that happen? <clears throat> And so, yeah, I'm worried about the Houston, Texas, where I live. And speaking of that, you know, if you want to leave me because I operate my business by working my ass off and then hoping I get enough donations to live and I become annoying, I understand. And may you find what you're looking for elsewhere. But this month, you know, I'm already broke. And I got to buy a front right tire. And I want to take my car into the shop because it's 188,000 miles. Because if all of a sudden I wake up and there's a hurricane, my front right tire is bald and the tread is majorly showing. So if I had to leave, I'm not sure my car is that road ready. I haven't been driving it that much in the last two or three months because of that. So I might start pestering you guys about the tire just because... It's going to be hurricane month, and I got a real feeling that Houston's in trouble. Texas, definitely the coast, for sure. Like, why would you say that? Well, look at that. When they say the Atlantic's cold, well, the Gulf is a freaking hot cup of tea, man. More I understand. And you had a volcano explode here, and then you had a volcano explode here. Wait, the volcano's here and here. I think there might be one there. See? That's why that water's hot, because the volcano here. It's a Thor theory. And so, I don't know, if they start to form, you might have 24 hours to get the hell out of town. I'm worried about the whole, you know, here in the East Coast. But who knows, maybe the dust will stay up and everything will be great. But does that hurricane look like it's little and dying like it was showing it on the models? No. She looks like she's full of life. Cat 4, Cat 5 right now. Cat 3 men. That means minimum. So, you guys are amazing, and this is fascinating, for sure. You know, the weather's going freaking bonkers. And if you look at the and the smoke, like the wildfire situation is so bad right now, up here. And just look how much of a mess this is. Look at all the water vapor. The whole area is vapory, man. There's a lot of moisture around. Remember, a lot of the places in the east have just shattered rainfall records. So, things are definitely weird. There aren't many people here like, no, 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 this is all normal. And then people are left. All right, 20 minutes of my second one. We don't even have a major. Well, we do, I guess. Things bear down, I don't know why. Let's look at this one more time, then we'll be out of here. So, look, yeah, there's all the precipitable water. And there... What was that? It was like a giant splotch from beneath, like blop, like the under belly of the ocean burped. Wow, that was crazy. I don't think that was geoengineering. I think that came from deep inside because the earthquakes have been earthquakey. Like boom, you know what I'm saying? Something like popping a pimple. But with precipitable water. And notice how 
even all of it is flowing straight up towards Texas. So I think that flow will continue. <clears throat> all right. So yeah, I'll leave my PayPal link, but I really do appreciate all you guys, and you guys are super awesome. But it is weird. In the scary zone now. I mean, technically, it's two more weeks before the scary, scary, scary zone. And no fear. Though a tiny bit of fear is good. So you know when to run and you know when to evacuate. But be prepared. Have a plan. Praying don't hurt. Ever. But wow. Yeah, that is. We started with anomalies. We end with anomalies. New ones. I haven't even seen those. All right. Crazy days indeed. I'm glad you're here with me. You're my friend. Peace out, stay cool, and hit the button, baby. And that just means go play. I don't think likes matter. I mean, I appreciate likes. Thank you. But when I say hit the button, it means like go play, do something cool, make something cool, listen to a song you like, like do things you love, do things that make you happy. That's what hit the button means. Like, te you know, technically it's like boom, hit the button. Like if a girl's trying to turn you on, all right, go ahead, baby, hit the button. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, so that's what it means when I say it. I'm glad you know. Stay cool.